Hi, this is a prototype of an interactive mirror. Um, it looks like a mirror, but it's actually a two-way mirror, and behind this glass is an LED matrix, which I'm going to control from my phone. So, I've got a couple apps to show you. Let me go ahead and launch the first app. This one is just a simple showing the picture. So I've got a few preloaded pictures on my phone that I'm going to send over to the mirror. Okay, so you get that idea. This one's a little bit more interactive. This one is called the Magic 8 Ball. So you, you, some of you may be familiar with the fortune telling Magic 8 Ball. It's the same kind of concept. And so that's the Magic 8 Ball. And the way it works is you ask it a question and it tells you the answer. So, Magic 8 Ball, will I win my tennis match tomorrow? I'm busy, try later. Okay, let me try that again. Magic 8 Ball, will I win my tennis match tomorrow? Okay, not so good for me and my tennis, unfortunately, but that's the idea of the Magic 8 Ball. Okay, so here's one more app called Verbiage. And this is just streaming some random words to the mirror. And so while that's going, just real, real quick on how this works. So I've got my Android phone, um, only works over Android at the moment. Um, phone is communicating over Bluetooth to a microprocessor behind the mirror, which is controlling the LED matrix. And that microprocessor also has a Bluetooth chip. Um, it's called the Yo-Yo, if any of you have heard of the Arduino, it, it's a similar kind of thing but it's optimized and, and really good for doing interactive Android apps, such as this one. And so here's the last app, and this is just to show you that it can also do video. So right now we're streaming video from the phone to the LED matrix. And again, because the LED matrix is such a low resolution, um, you're not really gonna be able to see a whole lot. So it's more really a proof of concept to show you that it can actually stream video as well, so you can do animations and, and things like that. It just has to be low res. So let's just have a quick look at what's behind the scenes. So here you have it. This is the back of the LED matrix. So again, this is a 32 by 16 resolution. So 512 pixels total. And there is the yo-yo board. That's the microcontroller. And right there, it's probably a little hard to see, is the Bluetooth dongle. That's what's communicating to the cell phone. And then I'm powering both the microcontroller and the LED matrix on this 5 volts um, power supply, which I've got a splitter, so I only need to have one power coming in. There you have it. Thanks for tuning in.